Hi right, guys, I've just watched that table monkey video where the guy gets his arm broken. They don't show the arm break, but just by looking at it, I could tell which guy got their arm broke. And that's easily avoidable if you're maybe willing to take a L more often, which I, which is my choice. The way I do it is I'll take the L before putting my arm in that type of position. So if I'm here, the guy just the guy hits on me. I can't stop the hit. I'll turn my body this way, and he's either gonna open up my arm. But if I'm close enough, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna go down with it. But I'm still, I'm still in a good curling position here. I'm not like, I'm not here and then throwing my trying to throw my shoulder behind it. Because at this point here, I'm already pretty much gonna lose if I can't bring him back up. So I rather. I'd rather be here and take a loss this way in a normal in a good good position and, and go back here and try to bring it up and then something happen, you know. So So for me, if I can't catch the hit, he's like this, okay, I just get I get pinned, whatever, I I lost. Or if I'm able and if I am able to hold him, I catch, hold, and when I'm coming back up, I'm not I'm not doing this. I'm doing this. I'm I'm pulling up. And then once I'm here, once you get back in the center, then you can use your side pressure again. Or if you're high enough, then you can throw that shoulder behind. But when you're down here, you don't want to... Th if I'm losing here, the odds that I'm able to throw my shoulder behind and bring it back up are like pretty much non-existent. So I'd rather just come up here, hold. And if I'm not strong enough, I'll just take the loss. So I got a couple examples here. Like I said, I don't, I don't know if it's the... If I could win any other way, not using my bicep because my biceps don't hold. But if I'm here, good example. This is just Come on, Johnny. that right there is like a safe way to lose, basically. So, but if you can hold the hit, if you can stop the hit, then you should. Then you're okay. Example. If you look here, same position, no arm break position at all. Just taking the loss. See? Uh, curl position, curl position, not never throwing my shoulder behind. Just taking the curl like a curling motion loss basically. Here, you want, you can see, you can see the, come on, Donnie, if you look at that here, Alright, if I'm here, see how I catch, when I'm able to catch the hit, see here, I'm able to catch the hit, so same thing, curling, curling, curling right there, until you get back to the center, and once you're in the center, then you can drop, like a side pressure, so hopefully that helps, so you always want to, especially if you're practicing, you don't want to risk your arm for, for no reason, Yeah, that sucks. Anyways, <laughs> so maybe you will never do that again. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's the best way to be a good arm wrestler to always take a easier loss to not get hurt, but I don't know. Anyways, that's that. Have a good one, guys.